And welcome to today's headline brought to you by the fantastic folks over at Back Alley Pizza. Uh, by the way, they're hiring. Did you know that? Do you guys have any pizza skills? I don't. I My do. little brother worked at Pizza Hut for a while. Really? You should fired. send him over there. Robert and Cheryl Palmer are looking for somebody that has some pizza skills. Yeah. Yeah. There anyway, go. sorry, got off on that. Um, so, yeah, Back Alley Pizza, best pizza in Kansas. Bar none. Bar none. All right. Let's get the chicken. Let's get the chicken. Hold the chicken up so everybody can see the chicken. Trying to so drive. they know the what we're doing. You want to drive? I'll drive. drive the chicken, man. Ooh, we've got lots of options here. Summer jobs. <laughs> okay. All right. Summer, Summer jobs. jobs. All right. I'm going to tell you about the stupidest thing that stupidest summer job thing I ever did. Okay. I was recruited by my dad, and I think I've told this story, to help this old man cut corn. No, I've heard this Yeah, story. no, it was about like it is now outside. Okay. Yeah, I think it was August, late August, I had to cut corn. Mm -hmm. With a freaking corn With knife. With a corn knife, yeah. as one does, yeah. while cutting corn. Paid me in corn. <laughs> No not happy. <laughs> no here's, some, here's some corn. You take this home to your family. <laughs> it's like, oh, gee, thanks. This is great. How old, <laughs> how old were you? I was in high school. Oh, it right. sounds like some out of like. Love corn. It sounds like some out of John Steinbeck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat it all in one place. <laughs> you know. Like, okay, oh, that's good. So I uh, <laughs> summer jobs outside doing stuff on the farm. I worked in a dog kennel. Ooh. Well, yeah, and so like on the 4th of July holiday, that thing would get full, there'd be a hundred and something dogs in there. And my job, I had the special duty of I would get in there way, way, way early in the morning with the hose, and I got to go through every kennel and spray out any kind of leftovers from the night. That was super fun at 6 a.m. on yeah. a Saturday morning. Ugh. But yeah, so every time I'm having an especially crappy time, I think, well... I could be at the dog kennel. Could be at the dog kennel. That's fine. Yeah. My experience was your... Yeah. Uh, for a while in high school, I was a ref for an umpire for baseball and softball in the Little League Valley Center Recreation Wow. That's, That's an important, yeah. Yeah. important deal. Yeah, man. it was the real deal. We got paid by the game. Uh -huh. So, like, no matter what, everything was a strike. Every single thing <laughs> was a strike. To get because those games could drag on, especially those little. It sounds like there was a conspiracy here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the parents weren't a, weren't a fan of it, it? but but my fellow umpires were a fan because our games got over quick. Oh, Everything yeah. was a strike. It could be three feet above their heads, and I'm wow. calling it. it was, that's some. I didn't last long. So. Yes, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah. Well, that's great. All right, you want to pick a headline? I guess pick a headline. All right. Here. All right. Who wants to pick one? Bruce, why don't you do the honors? See what you find in here. All right. Put on the cheaters. Ah, uh, let me see. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with the one right here because I think it's a big deal for Newton. Residents ask for pool features. Yeah. They sent out a survey. Well, you should talk about it, right? You wrote yeah, the actually, yeah, you wrote the city sent out yeah. a survey, and the results uh, were coming back in, and uh, overwhelmingly, uh, citizens are asking for more features in the pool, so that they'll, uh, they said they'll attend the pool, pool more often. If there's new stuff there, so interesting. It's a big deal. There you man. go. All right. Have a good one. Keep your foot hard on the pedal. Some never mind them brakes. Let it all hang out, cause.